He is potentially one of the best footballers to ever grace the planet Earth and also one of the best goal scorers. He sits at the top of the charts for one of the most prolific nations in world football today. We are remaking Pele in FM22. Now, I've been gagging to do this one for a long period of time, but we ran through quite a lot of Brazilians pretty early doors. So I've saved Pele until now, just so we can see how he gets on. He's 15 years old. He's back at Santos. Now, obviously, he spent a large portion of his career playing football in Brazil. He never came to Europe in his career. He did have a spell in the MLS at New York Cosmos, but was predominantly in brazil so i'm intrigued to see a second time around how he gets on let's dive in and meet a 15 year old pele so guys here he is in game five foot seven 73 kilos wonder kid coming out of santos now obviously pele is a club legend at santos so i'm intrigued to see how he gets on a second time around look at it looking at his attributes though yes okay i've made a few of these up but to be perfectly honest i think he looks fantastic that physical brilliant stuff high aggression high anticipation good composure as well this guy's gonna know where the back of the net is and great dribbling good finishing as well very very high technique especially for a 15 year old very strong on both feet runs through the ball uh runs with the ball through the center sorry likes to round the goalkeeper and likes to attempt overhead kicks he is brazilian why not um i'm intrigued to see how belly gets on 35 pounds a week he is currently on at santos he is currently of course on a youth contract he is only 15 years of age if you are new around here this is the series where we rate remake even remake words steve where we remake legends in the world of football and this is of course pele what we do we take uh, pele here and we go forward 5 10 15 years and ultimately 20 years into the future just to see how his career pans out a second time around now with pele what i have done in terms of some of his information now obviously i am trying to steer him away from somewhere like psg um, but here his favorite club is santos the club he's currently playing for he is a club legend at santos if we go on to santos here um legends pele there he is let's see what he can do a second time around let's jump forward five years into the future and see how pele is doing a second time around so then guys five years into the future pele has left brazil which is really surprising i actually did genuinely think he would stay in brazil for a long long period of time like he did in his actual career or at least until he got a little bit older he's now 20 years of age and he's playing in Inter Milan, which is really, really interesting to see. He also doesn't have his number 10 shirt. Now, I said his preferred shirt number was number 10, and at Inter, he's now got number 9. Um, his attributes have developed a little bit more. The physical attributes are really, really there. He's looking great. He's got a little bit taller. I need to remember this with uh, these player remakes. Pelé, not 5'9", was 5'7", but obviously, when he's 15, he potentially might grow in-game. Uh, he's also put on some timber as well. 87 kg for the guy. Uh, which is probably not what Pele was like in real life. So I'm intrigued to see what he's like in this match engine. He's starting as he means to go on. He is currently Brazil's record all-time leading goal scorer. Uh, he now has 34 caps for the Brazilian national team and 24 goals. He's now on £250,000 a week. And obviously those attributes are exceptional. Yes, he's got one for long throws, one for marking, one for tackling literally who cares um in terms of his career though how much money did inter milan pay to santos for his services he went for 21 million pounds he had three seasons in brazil obviously we know there's a lot of games in brazil and santos threw him straight in 17 matches in that first season 11 goals for him as well then 33 goals in the next two seasons respectively 51 games and then 48 averaging a very very good rating in brazil he then moves to inter milan uh, where he has 16 appearances and seven goals averaging a 7.22 uh, then after that he is a mainstay in this inter milan side 37 appearances then 35 appearances he's not really scoring as many as i would have thought pele would have done obviously in his real career he stayed in brazil never was tested at that european level in terms of some of his milestones let's see uh, and have a look and see what he's won uh, so he is a uh, brazilian cup winner i don't know if that's one of the state championships it looks like it's not uh, looks like it is the actual brazilian cup which is quite nice first international cap uh, for brazil was against italy age 17 he scored as well so fair play to him there super cop of the brazil he's won that as well uh the this is must be the state championship hey maybe yeah that looks like a state championship to me doesn't look like anything beyond that maybe um uh and then he moves on syria champions fair play uh pre-olympic tournament winners 
I don't know why. Uh, co uh, uh, sorry, what's that? Copa Italia winners after he's moved to Inter Milan. Copa America winners with Brazil. PS5 Super Cup. Copa Italia again. There is the Serie A in 2025. And then in the most recent season, PS5 Super Cup winners and Copa Italia winners. Again, in terms of some of his personal awards, let's have a look. He has been named the European Golden Boy uh, whilst he was at Inter Milan. So he's looking pretty good there. And in some of his other ones, I did see uh, that he won the NXGN award there picking it up the season after Gavi and then uh, before the new gens start to tick in. In terms of some of his other awards, some of the ones you only get whilst you're a youngster as well, the Copper Trophy, he's won that three times in four years uh, with Jamal Musiala being the other player to pick it up in that time period. Um, everything else though, guys, looks pretty straightforward, looks pretty self-explanatory and he is starting his career. He still is only 20 years of age, but he has finally made his way to Europe. Let's simulate another five years and see how he's getting on. 10 years into his career a second time around. So 10 years in, Pele still at Inter Milan. And he's looking even better than he did the last time we checked in. 76 caps for Brazil and 71 goals, almost averaging a goal a game internationally. I've just clocked as well. He is wanted by Manchester United. What an interesting turn that would be. He's now got 20 composure as well. Uh, along with the high flair, good leadership, good off the ball, nice vision as well. The physicals are absolutely out of this world, aren't they? He's not really developed any other additional shots except from, uh, sorry, traits other than uh, tries first time shots. Uh, but Pele is the complete package and he is really, really starting to tick up in terms of those goals scored. We were last here in the 2026, 2020, uh, sorry, 25, 26 season. So these next five years, he's been really, really pumping the goals in 30, 24, 24, 30, 23. Yeah, this man knows where the back of the net is, to no real surprise. 251 goals in 380 league appearances thus far, averaging a 7.54 rating as well. So he's doing exceptional, exceptional work. If we go into his milestones and check out his competitions as well, we were last here in the 2026 season. So he's gone on. He is now a Champions League winner, winning that one with Inter Milan Super Cup as well. Serie A, PS5 Super Cup runners up. He's won a pre-Olympic tournament as well. Uh, but for some reason, it looks like he's not winning those Olympic gold medals for some reason. Coppa Italia winners as a third place in the Coppa America. Uh, Champions League, back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, is that for Inter Milan? Oh, no, uh, there's, a, there's a season in between where Arsenal have picked it up. Uh, but a multiple Champions League winner, multiple times Serie A victor, and it looks like Inter are starting to hold uh, a little bit firmer in terms of this Serie A 102 point season for them. Pele not top goal scorer for them though. Uh, and this new gen here. Oh my goodness. Look at this new gen. He's basically better than Pele. Blimey. FM does throw up some absolutely ludicrous stuff, but we've still got a few more stops in this timeline. Let's jump forward another five years. So he's 30 years of age. Hopefully by that time, he's broken his own Brazilian goal scoring record. So guys, here he is. He has broken his own goal scoring record for Brazil. He is now a record goal scorer for his country a second time around. 117 appearances for his country, 107 goals, age 30. He is now a model professional. He is a legendary striker, as you can't kind of would expect someone of Pele's ability to be. He's currently out on international duty with Brazil in this particular instance. But again, as you would understand, he looks phenomenal in terms of attributes. Just as good as that new gen who has come through. Maybe a little bit better because he's got a few or more of the, of the creative mentals, let's say. If we go into his history and take a look at his career stats, again, he is still pumping those goals in with Interman in these last five seasons. Again, still been doing very, very well. His lowest goal scoring return is 24 goals goals in Syria so yeah definitely doing the business there in his most recent season 41 goals and nine assists so 50 goal contributions in 50 appearances for Pele let's have a look at some of the milestones as well competitions one he's basically holding that stranglehold with Inter yeah they've won the league the last five years top goal scorer 35 goals for Pele uh in that Syria Lorenzo Luca being the second uh the second best dude there looking like yeah constant stranglehold on the Serie A. He's won the uh, European slash South American Super Cup winner as well. Uh, he's won the Copa America again with Brazil. Third place at the World Cup. I thought with Pele they may have been able to get their hands on a World Cup, but it isn't looking likely. Another Champions League in the bag for him as well. 
He's just moving forward. He's just quite good, isn't he? In terms of some of his other awards, I'm sure some of you guys will be uh, not surprised to hear. He has won the Ballon d'Or a couple of times as well now. And this is his one, two, three, fourth Ballon d'Or that he's managed to pick up now. Uh, with, with this guy, he chucked in Joe Thies. Again, another really talented new gen, really, really fast in terms of their uh, in terms of their physicals there. But a very good showing for Pele in this Ballon d'Or uh, campaign thus far. He does look fantastic. I'm still really, really impressed with how he's doing. We're going to jump forward five more years as well towards the end of his career. He's going to be 35. I still think he's probably going to be able to play considering he's got 16 pace, but we'll see how he looks age 35. So then, guys, here he is at the twilight of his career. He is 35 years of age and his loyalty has stayed with Inter Milan. He stayed here barring a spell at Santos at the start of his career. Obviously the club that he started his journey at in real life. He stayed at Inter Milan. He's been here the whole time and why wouldn't you when you were as dominant as we looked in those last five years? Um, he looks still fantastic. He could still play. He's got 14 pace. He doesn't look like he set his sights on retiring just yet uh, but still again looks unbelievable in terms of his abilities and it doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. 43 goals and 18 assists. I wonder if they've played him uh, uh, the central attack midfielder a lot no they haven't so he has got an unbelievable goal contribution per game uh, it looks like they're playing a 4-4-2 style with Pele up top which if we uh scoot back to his profile is looking looking really really good 32 goals 11 assists in Syria he's just absolutely phenomenal in terms of his entire career you guys won't be able to see it unless jack slides me across uh, but he's got 752 league appearances 543 career goals in the league and 151 assists as well averaging a 7.61 average rating throughout the course of his career if we go into his milestones and look at things has he still been Serie A champion for his entirety barring one year at juventus there he is still looking like he is being uh, ever present in this side has he picked up any other european honors potentially let's have a little peek uh, they're always in the ps5 super cup obviously because they've won the league the entire time it doesn't look like it it looks like he's just been ticking over the last five years just just constantly picking up the syria as you do in terms of some of his other personal awards let's have a little deep dive i will assume he's won the Sam uh, samba dior um as uh, uh, or the whole time basically this is the brazilian ballon d'or shall i say is for the best uh, i believe non brazilian located brazilian if that makes sense he's won it every year that he's been in the save uh, apart from the first couple where it is real life players that have won it uh, and then one year where Vinicius Jr. picked it up he is now a unemployed manager and doesn't look like a great one at that but um, yeah Pele very very good in the Samba Dior has he won the Ballon d'Or a few more times it looks like he has done in his total career one two three four five six seven eight times now that he has picked up the Ballon d'Or in this 20 year uh, career re-simulation which is pretty darn good if we go into some of the other awards obviously he's uh, going to be part of the goal 50 at some stage uh, he has done that and picked that up a few times i think that's three there and then if we go into the fifa uh, pro world 11 he is in there for the current season as well if we reset this and take a look at every single season that we've gone through he is in here and he is in some very elite tier company here uh, we've got Courtois, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I don't know if this dude's real. Is he real? He looks like he could be real. He's had a very good year. A ja uh, very good season. Bastoni, um, Alfonso Davies, Camavinga, Pedri. Then here comes one of the new gens. This is one of the new gens who's been battling out. That winger that we looked at earlier on in the video, he still looks very, very good. Belgian international. This is the Italian one. Again, he looks exceptional. Legendary striker. He's done very, very well for Italy. Um, and then obviously Vinicius Jr. on that left-hand side. And then our main man, Pele up top completing things so you see players like Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe, Mo Salah not getting a look in with Pele leading the line. If this is the sort of content you like, guys, let me know down in the comment section. And also, whilst you're down there, let me know who you would like to see next. If you like these remakes of legendary players, there is a playlist popping up on the screen now where you can go and check out all the players that we've already done. But until next time, guys, see you again.